so I can help. So once a year, I meet with uh, my students and their parents and talk about how uh, we're doing so far. And I'm really happy with the progress that you've made. So I'll read to you and your mom what I wrote. I said, you're making amazing progress in just your first year. You're practicing every day, and that's given you a very solid foundation in both your techniques. So you're leaning on the tips of your fingers. You're walking your fingers. Um, and uh, you're really um, growing as a musician, too, because you're singing so well in tune these days. You know, when you first start lessons, I always had to help you tune up, but a lot of times now, if you just concentrate, you sing perfectly in tune all by yourself. So that's really great, too. Mm -hmm. um, because you're already learning how to read music at such a young age, you're going to be able to read all kinds of music and learn on your own, um, even stuff that I don't teach you pretty soon. Um, so that's really great. Um, my plans for the rest of this year are for you to take the musical journey test in May. That's where we'll test to see how your hearing is going for like hearing so me, so so me, or me, re, do. And you'll listen to those and sing them back and you'll write them out just like we do in class. And you'll also play some uh, pieces for the um, a visiting professor or teacher and so they can check your technique too. I'm sure you'll do great in that. Once you pass that, um, we'll get ready for your first level of your musical journey. Now, you went to Mayan's musical journey recently, right? So your musical journey, the first level, is where you invite your closest friends and family to come watch you play, usually in your home. Now, um, that we do it that way so it can be as comfortable as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to think about who you want to invite to that, performance, that will probably be uh, in June. Okay. Do you have an idea of what your travel plans are for the summer? Um, hopefully we'll know tomorrow afternoon. Okay. It's looking like it will be where we were before. Right. I haven't told him. Okay. I haven't talked to him about it. Right. <laughs> um, my point is more about the timing. Summer. Yeah. Because ideally, I would love for Grant to take lessons at the beginning of summer. Okay. Um, do an intensive study for the first three weeks, and actually the first week of summer here at Orpheus is still the last week of school at DOS. Okay. So you would do so twice two more weeks. Yeah, past the last week of DOS. Okay. So you do twice a week lessons. They would all be forty five minutes, and we would just really focus on getting a whole bunch of pieces ready, and not just the easy baby pieces that you started with, but like really challenging pieces, longer pieces. Um, things like the Three Bears song that are a little bit longer. Um, and so you do 10 to 12 of those, your choice, and uh, that's way we could have lots and lots of lessons leading up to that big, big milestone. And then you could take a break for a little while and do whatever you need to do and come back in the fall. Okay. Um, so that's how we usually do the summer study. All right, so um, this is for you. I. Um, said that I would recommend for summer study 12 45 minute lessons. That could be like six lessons right at the beginning and six lessons right at the end, for example, like right yeah. before school starts again. Okay. Um, and so the registration for that starts on Monday. Okay. So you'll need to go online and you'll see my schedule, click on that and pick the time okay. that you want for that. Um, and then there's uh, also um, normally other students here, they get a slip saying that if you do that, you can get a spot with your teacher and reserve it for the next year. Yeah. Because I'm the director, I get to cheat a little bit. I just make up my students' schedules. And so okay. if you guys are happy with this time, yeah. I'll just keep it the same next year. Okay. We don't need to worry about that. All right, the last thing I want to talk about before I just ask, start asking both of you for questions is the performance class this Saturday. Um, I would love it if What's your favorite piece right now? One of the ones we've learned recently. Yeah. All right, we could do that again. But you've already played that in performance class, and it is very cool. But maybe we'll pick uh, something more recent. Um, we'll figure it out in the lesson. And you could even do two pieces. But I would highly recommend that. Okay. Uh, so I think he's signed up. He's already signed up. I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, oh, we had
talked about songs. So I'll right. Good. I'll talk about that in the lesson. All right. Well, that was um, it. Do you have uh, anything you would like to do different in the lessons or in your practice? Anything you like different about that? And how about you? Do you have anything, any suggestions for stuff that we should be doing? I just have a question about the practice. Do you want to do the reading and the writing every day? Um, yes, unless yeah. you've run out of paper. Okay. Um, in which case, I need to send you some more templates. Though I'd be honest with you, uh -huh. templates for music paper are like all over the web. Okay. Yeah. Right and, there. Yeah. Just type in like uh, big staff paper because if it's printed small, it's really hard with a pencil to yeah. write it in. But if you type in big staff paper, I mean, it's, after all, it's just lines on a piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> that's all yeah. it is. You don't, you don't need anything special from us to do that. Okay. But that's really important at this stage is to. Um, it's sort of like, uh, do you have to read and practice reading books every day? Yeah. Yeah. They think they're really big. So when you're starting to learn to read books, and you, you need to do it every day. And the same thing goes for music. Even if you already know the answers, it's just like you can already read a lot of words, but you still have to do it every day so that you can get fast at it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Brilliant. Um, let's see. Since I didn't hand out an assignment sheet at the um, last class, I have a new one for you here.